Hey, right here. So today, I'm going to try to pay it forward a bit. You see, without the proper resources, it's hard to get the ball rolling for an aspiring creator. So I'm going to share a handful of resources that help me uh, garner some confidence and get the journey started. Hopefully this video will help somebody make it click. So here's five resources for creating comics. Quiet Red Media. Shh. Alright, so I'm by no means an expert. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But when I first started trying to figure this whole creating a comic thing out, I had to scour for resources to glean some info from. It definitely helped me get over the anxiety of undertaking a project like that. So I'm gonna share just this once and then off. Let's keep it simple and make a list. It's my show, I do what I want. In their own words, Blambot is a world-class collection of fonts created by award-winning comic book letterer and graphic designer, Nate Picos. I'm sure I probably butchered his last name, but it's my show, remember? <laughs> Blambot is a useful site to keep on hand. Nate not only provides world-class fonts for purchase, but he has a special free license for indie comics use as well. There's also a well-populated resources section with a ton of useful info and guides for those who can use it. And not just for lettering, but script writing, comic book grammar, terms and conventions, templates, art tips, and more. The front page of the end. You get it. If you hadn't thought to check out Reddit for comics creating info, then Here's your wake up call. Reddit is a place where you can find people discussing virtually anything. Take the time to peruse it for comics related stuff. One that I've used in particular is comic book collaborations. This one is a place to go that can help you put together a team for your project. Plenty of talented folks put themselves out there for hire on boards like this. Makingcomics.com is a site that I've used as a resource more than once. It's got a metric ton of information on myriad topics, all of which are catered to baking pies. Making comics, duh. One of the cool parts about this site is the sheer choice of topics to get resources for. Things from the basics like writing, drawing, inking, lettering, and coloring, to more business related topics like marketing, sales, and even legal aspects. There's a bunch of stuff there, so give it a look-see. They also have courses you can sign up for, I've never taken one, don't ask me, and a podcast that goes over various subjects that could be helpful. Comics Experience is a site founded by writer Andy Schmidt. It's a bit like the previously mentioned Making Comics in that it offers courses and making comics, as well as informational podcasts. But they also offer one-on-one -on -one mentoring, creative services, and even a publishing arm. The thing I've used them for personally, though, is scripts. They have a repository of scripts from many writers, including industry veterans. For a writer, that could provide a huge boon for understanding how to go about writing a script. Social media is an important resource for those who are embarking on an entrepreneurial endeavor. The ability to freely market, collaborate, and network with others is indispensable. Using Twitter to connect with communities that you need to connect with is a great place to start. Dive into the hashtags and start networking. Facebook has a ton of groups specifically for creating comics, hiring talent, and sharing information with one another. For a taste of what I mean, check out groups like Comic Book Creators Opportunities, Comic Book Colors for Hire, and Crowdfund Your Comics. This little WordPress site has some useful resources on various things like terms, techniques, shot types and composition, visual shorthand, and more. Give it a look. Adam Post is a well-known Comicsgate creator and industry vet. His series, Secrets of the Comicsgate Network, is a great resource for us Comicsgate folk. But also has great info for anyone looking into the Indiegogo crowdfunding approach. So those are a few resources that can hopefully help someone out. If not, don't cry to me. A little f***er in my head told me to do it.